Hey you guys, Natalie here and welcome back to Hey It's a Good Life. Today we are in the front garden because I got a new garden toy. You guys can probably already tell by the title that that new garden addition is the Greenstock Tower and I'm so excited to share with you guys a little bit more about it today. So I just finished setting it up and I can already see a lot of reasons why this is a great addition to our homestead. Before we hop into anything, I want you guys to know this video is not paid for or sponsored in any way. Greenstock did send me this tower and I just really like it. And this week they happen to be doing a lot of sales for Christmas and holiday shopping. And you can snag an additional 10% off when you use my code, good life. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. So first off, what is the Greenstock Planter? The Greenstock Planter is a vertical gardening system made in the USA, family owned and operated, and it allows you to grow up to 30 plants in a one and a half, two foot square space growing zone. And you can grow just about anything in the Greenstock Tower. You can grow flowers or fruits and veggies. It will support just about any plant. So now let's talk supplies. For this project, you are not going to need very many supplies at all. A lot of you guys know that I like to build things around here. And while I do love building things because of the end result that it yields me, honestly, I like it when I don't have to use tools. And that's one of the really cool things about this project is that you don't need any tools. You just need the green stock planter. And if you want, you can order a little mover so it can move around in your garden. You need about three big bags of quality soil about one cubic foot of soil per tier, and that's it, no tools required. So let's talk about setup. To set up the Greenstock Tower, you just lay out all the bins. Fill each bin with quality soil. I like Happy Frog or Fox Farm. This soil unfortunately got a little bit dried out here in the California sun, and I wanted to make sure that my soil had enough organic matter. So I decided to add a little bit more in just to make sure that these plants were getting off to a good start. And it's kind of a general rule of thumb for me around here that if I'm going to be planting something, I want to inoculate it with as many wonderful microbiome building materials like nematodes, like worms, like worm castings, and all of those nutrients. So I tend to in general add compost and worm castings when I plant anyway, just because I find that out here, dry, arid climate that is zone 10, Southern California, it seems to help my plants get off to the right start. You may want to add some compost or organic matter just to help boost with the nutrients and water absorption capacity of your soil. Next, all you have to do is add the gray water discs. Then it's time to stack each tower, ensuring that each foot meets the top of the next tier in the proper fashion. You wanna make sure it clicks right into place so that each tier is properly supported and the weight is evenly distributed. Next, you get to plant to your heart's content and you can either use plant starts or seeds, your choice. Then all that's left to do is water from the top. Now, knowing that my soil was a little dry, I decided to water thoroughly from the top and the sides. Once your plants and soil are established with like a general level of moisture, I can imagine that you'll only need to water from the top. But knowing that my soil was a little bit dry and knowing that California is pretty dry in general, I decided to just hose down the whole thing. Look at it, isn't it so cute? I just love this thing already. And I'm so excited for so many reasons to have this right next to the kitchen so I can pick herbs right here. Don't even have to bend over, so nice. But let's hop into that. Let's talk a little bit about why I already like this system so much. So first off, if you've been here a while, you know that I started gardening and learning how to grow food in an apartment. And I made a lot of mistakes when I built those first garden beds. And in a while I was using a square foot gardening method, this would have saved me so much time and so much effort and I could have grown a lot more in a small space had I just bought a couple green stock planters. So I think this is a wonderful solution if you're like me, growing in a small space with big farm dreams, like this is a great way to get your hands dirty, start growing food. You don't have to build the garden beds like I did and make a thousand mistakes, just 
get something that's already prefabricated add some soil add your plants and seeds and you're good to go it is such a space saving solution because as you can see, it only takes up about one and a half square feet of space, which is so nice if you wanna grow a lot of food in a small space. So whether you're in a condo or in an apartment or in a or in a home with a small-ish yard, although our yard is probably pretty big for this area, but moral of the story, if you're working with a small space and you wanna grow a lot of food, this is a great option. Okay, now this is the reason why I personally am so excited about this. So I really wanted to have an herb garden near the kitchen when we first built our homestead or we're building all of our beds here. And it ended up not being an option for a lot of different reasons from garden beds breaking down to cats, not my own, <laughs> deciding to make litter boxes out of the garden beds. And I just thought, you know what? We're gonna turn the front garden into pollinator garden and I'll forego my herb garden. But now I can have herbs that I don't have to bend over to pick that are right here, right outside the kitchen door. And I'm so, so excited about that. Which brings me to another point, not having to bend over to harvest anything is really nice being 30 weeks pregnant and being a college athlete with lots of back injuries. I'm doing everything I can around here in a super back friendly ways and just always being mindful of that there is this thing that I deal with. It is a back injury. Sometimes it flares up. And so when I can avoid bending over or lifting anything heavy, I try to. <laughs> and this is a great way to avoid having to lean over garden beds or bend over to harvest things. It's really nice because I can just stand and pluck what I need. Now we've kind of already touched on this, but vertical gardening is obviously a great option for anybody who wants to save space or maximize their growing capacity. By growing up, you're saving square footage on the ground, right? So again, the Greenstock Tower is a great vertical growing option. I feel like a lot of us are familiar with cattle panels or trellises or chicken wire, but I feel like this is a contender when it comes to the vertical gardening arena and it's something that should be considered if that's something you're interested in. Ah, point number five, it's movable. So my little feet that came with it are being shipped separately and I'll show you guys how to add those in the update video. Uh, but one really cool thing about this is that you can order a little mover and you place it on the bottom and then you can move it to where this tower needs to go. So for example, in my zone, sometimes things get really hot and I need to protect them from the sun. While well, moving this out of full sun and into some shade, being that it's on wheels, that makes it really easy to do. Also, if you're indecisive like me about garden design, it's nice to have the option to move things if you decide you don't want them there anymore. So I like anything with wheels that I possibly can put on wheels, hence why I built a greenhouse on wheels. And if I could have, and it was my original design and intent, I would have built all of our garden beds on wheels as well. Story for another time, I like things on wheels. They're great if you're not in a permanent growing situation like me, if you're a renter, if you know that you're gonna be moving, if you're in like a temporary housing situation, I like anything with wheels. You can get some for the Greenstock Tower. I think it would add a lot of value, something to consider. Okay, now you heard me mention a little something about neighborhood cats earlier. Uh, we have a lot of cats in this neighborhood and sometimes they make garden beds they're litter boxes. Now my little angels luckily have never done that. However, I can't prevent my neighbor's cat from using my front yard garden boxes. Now a lot of you guys know that we have cats and my little angels have never done said activities in garden beds because I don't allow them to. However, you can't stop neighborhood cats, right? They're gonna do what they're gonna do. And a lot of you guys have asked me questions of like, how do you keep cats out of your garden beds? And my answer is usually, I don't but I can get creative with what I plant and try and deter them knowing that they don't like mint or lavender or strong scented things or citrus. Like those are all ways that I kind of repel cats in the neighborhood, but why not just design something or use something that's not cat friendly? Like no cat is gonna wanna hop in here and try to use this as a litter box. So if you struggle with cats in your neighborhood or you're wanting to protect your herbs like me from said cats of the neighborhood, this is another great option for that situation. <laughs> Ugh, this is a reason that is really important to me. This company is family owned and operated, and I absolutely love that, especially during the holiday season, especially during 2020, when we've all had just such a rough year. Any way that I can 
support local business, support USA business, support family owned and operated businesses. I am looking to do that, especially this season. And I know a lot of you guys are as well. So if you're looking for gardening solutions, either for yourself or for the gardener in your life, I strongly consider supporting Greenstock Tower because how cool is it that when you buy a Greenstock Garden Tower, you know that you're supporting a family owned and operated business here in the USA. I really like that. And it's a reason why I will definitely be buying more of these for my friends and family who wanna grow big in small spaces. And I kind of already said this as well, but again, this is made in the USA, which is another reason why I like this product. I love being able to support USA owned and operated companies when and where possible as much as I possibly can. And this is a really simple way to do that. And lastly, let's talk design. The design on this thing is different from, from other designs on the market. This thing is designed really well. It's very high quality. You guys know that sometimes when you buy things online, you know, you look and you see, oh, is this quality? Like, what are people saying about it? Like, let me tell you, this is quality and this is gonna last. And you might be saying, oh, but it's made out of plastic. You know, that's not sustainable or whatever. I can tell you already that I know this is gonna last for years to come. And so I feel comfortable adding this as an addition to our homestead because, because I know that this is a piece that's going to last us for years to come. And being a minimalist, being somebody who spends only when they have to, being somebody who is very mindful of what they add to their home, this green stock tower is something I feel very comfortable adding to our home, knowing that it's going to be with us for years to come. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it offered you some ideas of how you can grow big in your small space. Maybe it offered you some ideas of ways that you can spoil yourself or spoil the gardener in your life this holiday season. Don't forget this week, lots of sales happening at Greenstock Garden Tower. And when you use my code, good life, you get an extra 10% off. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. And, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday week. I'll see you guys very soon.